Hello everyone, this is Kathy Herman and welcome or welcome back to my channel. To my subscribers, it's good to see you again and to those who haven't subscribed yet, please join the family by clicking the subscribe button below. about the products of Likang Atin, which is a brand of the Community Crafts Association of the Philippines, or CCAP for short. Before we go straight to the products, let me give you a quick background of Likang Atin. Okay, so meron tayong kodigo dito, no? Para hindi tayo magkamali. Okay, so let's start. Products made under this brand are acquired from marginal community-based entrepreneurs and organizations using indigenous raw materials. CCAP seeks to uplift the lives of small communities and provide a level playing field for the market access based on fair trade principles. Okay, so this means that CCAP helps small communities. At pag bumili tayo ng mga produkto sa kanila, ay makakatulong tayo sa mga maliliit na komunidad na yun. CCAP is also a non-governmental organization, therefore, they are a non-profit organization. Meaning, they have been granted tax-exempt status by the Internal Revenue Service because it furthers a social cause and provides a public benefit. So basically, si CCAP tumutulong sa mga, um, which I mentioned, small communities which have the talent in handicraft. So meaning, handmade lahat ng mga produkto nila. Using indigenous materials, meaning, um, the materials that they use are locally uh, available. Ito mga nakikita nyo na naka-display sa likod ko. Yan, mga produkto ng likhang atin. Yan, ang gaganda, no? They're all handmade and locally made. So, meaning proud products of the Philippines sa mga yan. Okay, so let me show you the products that are under the ox planter category. Okay, so ngayon ipapakita ko sa inyo ang mga ox planter products nila. At simulan natin dito sa napaka-cute, sobrang cute na cute na natural cocoa fiber ox table top planter. Ayan, so meron isa malaki at meron isa maliit. So ito si mama, ito si anak. Ang cute, no? <laughs> okay, so grabe, no? Ang galing nilang gumawa, no? Can you imagine? This is made out of natural cocoa fiber. Tapos gumamit sila ng nylon to make it compact. At dito naman yung paglalagyan mo ng plants or whatever else you want to put inside. So, this bigger one has a diameter, inner diameter of 3.75 inches. Ayan. At itong si maliit ay may inner diameter of 3.2 inches. Itong malaki costs 381.40 pesos. Ayan. Sobrang cute. And itong mas maliit costs 298.60 pesos. Sobrang cute, no? Mag-insert ako dito ng mga pictures of them with plants inside para makita nyo kung ang mga itsura nila pag may halaman na sa loob. Ayan. Okay, so ito naman ang tinatawag nila natural round abaca ox table top planter. Ayan. So meron din mami at anak. Ang cute, no? Ultimong pati yung muso at saka yung kilay at yung sungay nila is made out of wood. Sobrang cute. So, this is where you put your plants or basically you can put anything you want inside. Pero para sa akin, parang mas babagay talaga ang mga halaman dito. Okay, so itong mas, mali, itong mas malaki ay my inner diameter of 5.5 inches. And this costs 559.80 pesos. Itong mas maliit naman ay my inner diameter of 3.2 and this one cost naman 298.60 pesos. So, meron pa silang ibang klase ng mga round abaca ox table top planters. So, ito naman si bleach abaca. Ayan, meron din mami at meron ding anak. Ayan, ang cute, no? So, mas maputi ito compared to this one. So, hence the, the word bleached. <laughs> Ayan. Okay, so, itong si bleach round abaca of stable top planter naman ay may same inner diameter of 5.5 inches and this one costs 592.20 pesos. At ito naman, si mas maliit ay may inner diameter of 3.2 inches and this one costs 298.60 pesos. Ayan. 
Ito naman, mas darker ang version. At mas mahal. Siguro mas mahal yung raw materials na to, no? Okay, ito malaki. Same, 5.5 inches inner di diameter. And it costs 609.50 pesos. At itong mas maliit naman ay 338.40 pesos. Sobrang cute, no? Ayan. So, ang tawag nila dito ay backpack rope. So, ang ginamit nilang material dito is backpack rope. Ayan. So, sobrang cute, guys. Ayan. <laughs> CCAP was also so kind that they gifted me with other of their products. Ayan. Lahat ito handmade. So, ito naman ay bird box at nabubuksan yung taas niya. Ang cute, no? So, ito usually yung mga nakikita natin sa ibang bansa, no? Sa labas ng bahay nila o kaya sa mga poste, merong ganito. Ayan. Pwede rin natin gawin dito yan. Ayan, marami kaming ibon dyan sa labas. <laughs> okay, so next naman ay itong si Angel. Ang ganda, oh. Sobrang ganda. Gandang-ganda ako dito. This one is on sale for 250 pesos. Ayan, oh. Sobrang ganda. Can you imagine yung mga details nila? Napakaganda. Sobrang effort talaga yung paggawa nito, no? Talagang makikita mo sobrang galing ng gumawa nito. Ayan. Sobrang cute. And they also gave me itong ayan. Isa siyang ano, pwede mong isabit yung mga pictures mo dito. Ayan, ang cute, no? Tapos may ay, ano bang tawag nito? Pwede mong iipit pala yung mga pictures na dito ng family, ganyan, o kaya mga quotes, quotes, ganyan. Tapos pwede mong isabit. May sabitan siya sa likod. Ayan, so, pwede mong isabit siya. O kaya mga reminders, mga bills, kung gusto mo. <laughs> okay, so, wala na bang iba? Wala na. Okay, so now let me give you a short background about these products kasi sobrang inspiring talaga ng story kung paano nagsimula itong mga products na to. Okay, so let's start with this. Um, Coco Fiber Ox Planter. Okay, so this is made by a family-owned enterprise in Bulacan. The enterprise was established in 1999 after its owner, Mr. Virgilio Castro, resigned as a truck driver in a soft drinks company. It has provided regular income to its 13 workers making planters and other decorative items using indigenous raw materials such as cocoa fiber, abaca, and various vines. Other than wages, the enterprise also provides sleeping quarters, loans, and other benefits to their workers. So, napaka rami na tulungan ni Mr. Virgilio Castro, no? Kasi nabigyan niya ng trabaho ang 13 workers at nag-provide pa siya ng sleeping quarters, loans, and other benefits. So, nakaka-inspire talaga, no? So, this is from Made in Bulacan. Okay, so itong isa naman, itong mga abaka animals, yan. Um... Mr. Felix Magdaong Jr. interest in handicrafts goes way back during his high school days when he had to buy and sell different raw materials in the local market. Together with his wife, Abe, he established June Abe Crafts and Souvenirs in Bicol last 1989 with 10 workers supplying abaca products to different exporters. Through the income from handicraft, they were able to build their own house and sent their four children to school. He engaged in partnership with CCAP who provided them trainings and expanded their product line. So, ang galing talaga ng CCAP, no? Talagang, ano, no? Binibigyan ng CCAP ng chance na magamit yung mga talents nila and mapagbigyan yung mga families sa mga small communities to use their talents to make um, a living out of their talents. At ang galing, no? talagang nabilip talaga ako kasi can you imagine handmade itong mga ito? So, how much time and effort is put into these simple products like this? Sobrang simple pero makikita mo talaga very high quality yung worksmanship at saka yung mga materials na ginamit nila. Ayan. Okay, so ang ganda talaga. Wala kang masabi. Ang ganda. If you want to see more products of Likang Atin, I will be listing the links of their Facebook page, Instagram account, and their email address as well in the description box below. Ayan, don't forget to check them out kasi marami silang mga ibang-ibang klaseng produkto doon, katulad ng mga 
handmade bags, mga handmade accessories out of wood, mga hikaw, mga necklaces, bracelets, ayan. And they also have baskets there. Basta marami sila mga products doon that are worth checking out. And don't forget, whenever you buy a product from them, we are helping small communities. At kung ikaw naman ay may talent sa paggawa ng mga handcrafted products na ito, maybe you can send them a message and maybe you can partner up with Likang Atin or CCAP as well. We never know. Ayan. So abangan nyo ang susunod na video ko which is an interview with Miss Jessie Gonzalez who is a sales and marketing associate of Likang Atin and CCAP. Ayan. She will be telling us more about Likang Atin and CCAP. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful to you and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. This is your Mamika, now signing off. Till my next one. Bye, guys.